Hello gorgeous. Yes, I have my dressing gown on and wet hair because it's just getting that real today. I'm sorry. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to binge watch a TV show. The first thing you're going to need is nothing to do because if you have a busy life full of things to do then this is going to be pretty difficult. There are ways to get around it but usually you need a couple of days where you don't have to do anything. Next thing you're going to need is a device to binge watch on. This can be a DVD player, a computer or my favourite an iPad because that means you don't have to watch it from a distance, you can get the screen as close to your face as possible. Next thing you want to do is get Netflix because every good show is on Netflix. Netflix is usually the option or if you want Amazon Prime. Yay. So you get your Netflix, now it's time to pick a show. You have to choose what kind of mood you want to be in and how much patience you're going to have. Are you in an emotional mood and you have a very good patience then you want to find the 45 minute drama or sometimes longer than that. Something like Breaking Bad or Orange is the New Black will probably suit this mood. If you want a sitcom that's around 20 minutes long then I suggest Parks and Recreation or The IT Crowd. So now you've picked your show. Now it's time to get settled. Get snacks. This is optional but I mean who doesn't love snacks so get snacks. This could include popcorn, crisps, fizzy drinks, fruit and that's not a joke one I genuinely love snacking on fruit or even dry cereal if you can't be asked to go to the shops. Now get in your little comfy cozy cave. You can watch this on a sofa, on a chair, out on a about but my favorite place is a bed. Look as shit as possible because you're not going to be going outside for a while. Get in your PJs, just snuggle up in their duvet and start watching. Now you may be like Molly, how am I going to binge watch a show? I can't get through that many episodes, just try it, just force yourself. It'll take about three or four episodes for you to truly get into the binge but once you're in there, you're in there. Now it's time to watch. Binge watch your show with the lights off. Ideally spend an entire day watching your show. Keep watching, just, just don't stop. You can stop to read fan fictions about your show or to tumble about it or to tweet about how much you're loving it. And if it's a funny show, you can quote random scenes from it to your friends and family because they care. After about a season, you should be in that horrible, all I can think about is this show state of mind. And this is probably the time where you're gonna think, you know, maybe I should just stop, you know, take a shower, go outside, I need to go to the shop, get out of bed, and this is where you have to say no. You've got to just carry on watching. You may fight against it, but there's no use. So just get back in bed and continue watching. Now what you've got to do is you've got to finish your TV show. Just do it. And once you've finished it, either it won't be on air anymore or it will. If it is, then you've got to go back to watching TV once a week like a normal person. If it's not on air anymore, then you have to spend two days grieving over a loss of a show, which is the most painful thing ever. Especially if it's a show that got cancelled before it should have. Congratulations, you've been for watching a TV show. You haven't had any sleep in days. You haven't eaten anything but junk food. You look like shit. And you've got nothing done. It's a great life. I'll see you guys in the next video. This video was very sarcastic again. Sorry. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye!